Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another type of matcher that is two equal matcher. In the previous video, we have learned about the to be matcher, right? Which checks the triple equal to functionality. Now, in this video, we'll see about the two equal matcher, what it will do and where we need to use this two equal matcher. Let's try to see. And here, if you open the documentation of the Jasmine in the matcher section, you'll be able to see the two equal. The two equal, I, this one also takes one parameter only that is expected. And what is the definition of this one? Expect the actual value to be equal to the expected value. So that means the same thing, how the to be checks, the two equal also behaves in the same way only. But here, what it will do is it will use the deep equality comparison. So this is the thing we need to know where the to be uses the triple equal to functionality and here it uses the deep equality functionality. Let's try to know what is this deep equality functional comparison. And the parameters for this one is expected. So we know already this is a type of object and here the representation how we need to implement this two equal functionality they have given. One thing what I can say is the two equal fun uh, matcher mainly it will be used for the objects. So why we will be using for the objects? Let's try to know. Normally we saw that, uh, for example, we have in the console, if you try to go here, if you open, if you have an object and if you try to do with the double equal to of this object, so you will get 10 false. Why? Because the double equal to checks whether the both values are same or not. Here the both values are same. So it is an empty object and it is an empty object. But here the comparison comes where it will is the with the memory location. So in the JavaScript, uh, we already discussed in the previous video that double equal to or triple equal to checks with the memory location. So these are reference data types. So che it checks with the ref memory location. So for that reason, so that first object is saved in different memory location and the second one is a different memory location. For that reason, double equal to we are getting it as false. The same scenario if you try with the triple equal to also you will get false. Why? Because it will check also the with the memory location itself. Now, <clears throat> we want a scenario in a such a way that we, for example, if you have an object with the name of type Leela, okay, we have an object with the tape, name equal to Leela, okay, something like this and double equal to name equal to Leela. So we need to have in a such a scenario that, so this should be true with this should written true. Why? Because both the keys and values are same. The both the keys, the keys, the keys here are name, the keys here are name and the value here is Leela and also it is having only one key value pair and here is also having one key value pair. So both the objects are one and the same only, but instead of having the different memory location, both the objects are one and same only. So we need to return true in such a scenario that if we, both are equal means we need to get written true. We need to return true. So in that scenario, we use the two equal operator. So this is about the deep equality comparison. So the deep equality comparison means what I can say is. So it will not, it will not, so for example, you are having, you know, so deep equality comparison. We are learning about the deep equality comparison, right? So deep equality comparison is nothing but you are, you are having something like key and a value and you are having another object with the key and value. So if you want to check the deep equality comparison for this one means, so it will check that whether the both keys, the keys present in the first object and second object are, are of same value and also same type. Okay, it will check with the same type also. And the same scenario value also. Value also it will check that those are same value and same type. Okay, so this is the deep equality. So it will check with the deep with the key and value pairs. So for example, if you are having another key and value here, another key one and value one here if you are having means so now these two objects are false so these two objects are not equal why because it is having an extra key value pair but here it is having only one key value pair if you check with the deep equality comparison this will return false if you don't have anything so here this key and this key both are same type that means of string and this value is also of type string and also the same value means then this is true so in this scenario we will check with the two equal comparison 
So now let's try to implement these two equal comparison in our uh, spec so that you will clearly able to understand. So here I am writing the two equal matcher. Two equal matcher. Let's try to see about the two equal matcher. So now here I am writing it should. Okay, here first we need to write the description for this one. It should initialize the constructor so here we are having the calculator right constructor so the constructor is nothing but so when we instantiate the calculator so let's take con constant calculator 1 is equal to new calculator so we have instantiated with a calculator 1 and another object also let's try to take calculator 2 is equal to new calculator so these are the two calculators we are having calculator 1 and calculator 2 so now you need to understand that whenever we instantiate the calculator, so if you try to check in this calculator.js, so we will be having the total with value of 0. So total total property will be initialized with value of 0. So that means the calculator 1 and calculator 2 has the same value of total 0. Let's try to check this one. So first we will check with the to be operator. Expect of calculator 1 dot to be of calculator 2. Now if you try to check this one, if I try to open here the testing, so here you will be able to get that spec is wrong. So spec is failed. Why? Because the first instantiation, first object calculator has a total of 0 and the second object also calculator has a total of 0. But these two are not equal. Why? Because they both don't share the same memory location. They are of different memory location. So for that reason deep equality, so here it is not checking the deep equality, it is just checking the reference. So it is to be operator is giving wrong. So here they have given that to check for the deep equality, please use the dot to equal they are saying. Okay, fine. Let's use this dot to equal. Now whenever you use this dot to equal, now if you try to check, so immediately this one got, got passed, should initialize the constructor. So now how it got passed, here the calculator has a total of 0 and this one has a object have a total of 0. So both objects are same. So for that reason, we got it success. Now what I will try to do is, so here, I will try to change calculator 1 dot total is equal to string 0. <clears throat> we know that the calculator dot js, whenever we create an object, so it will be a number 0. But here uh, for the calculator 1 dot total, I change it to string 0. Both are having 0, but first, first calculator is having string 0 and second calculator is having number 0. So let's try to check whether it is correct or wrong. So here you will be able to see the error string 0 to equal 0. So it is not equal they are saying. So here the two equal will check the deep equality whether the keys and values both are having same value and same type. That is the main important thing. Now if I change it to 34 for example let's say then also you will get an error. So if you try to see then also you will get an error. So if I remove this one two equal means it will check whether the both objects are equal or not. So the both the objects are having the same keys and same values of same type. Both keys and values of same type means then dot to equal will return you the true or otherwise it will return you the false. Whereas to be operator, so where it will try to do is it will check with the strict comparison with the triple equal to comparison. It will check the reference data type. So whether they are sharing the same memory location or not. And whereas if you if it comes to the primitive data types means so to equal and to be matcher both uh, both behaves the same way only for primitive string data types. Why? Because number 0 and string 0 to be will return false and same to equal also number 0 and string 0 it will return false. So the main difference comes with the objects and arrays only. So whenever you are having the dates, dates, date methods also, date methods also these are objects only. So wherever it is using the reference data types means so we will be using the to equal matcher so that we can check the data equality instead of the memory location equality. So hope you understood about this to equal matcher. If you have any doubts or any sessions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.